Thank you for coming tonight. My name is Ishra Ahmed. I work at Social Planning Toronto as a senior planner. We are a nonprofit, in the, in the independent organization that conducts research and, and, and a lot of policy mobilization. And one of the um, major contributions of Social Planning Toronto is um, city budget organizing. So what we do, we explain city budget process in a very simple term so that people can understand it, and also explain budget in in lay terms because budget is very complex, right? And there are so many numbers that we really don't understand. So we try to explain it in, in a way so that people can relate to, to those numbers. So we are, again, independent. We are not partisan. Our work is purely research. And, and today, you know, actually we are, um, it's, it's interesting. We had so many different pa panelists, but we have three, or three events taking place in three different parts of the city today. And there is a reason why we are doing all those three events simultaneously, and I'm going to explain it to you later. But I just wanted to give you a bit of context. So this event is organized by Social Planning in partnership with Bathurst Fringe Hub and ANC here because there's a rich history of community engagement in this community. They made a huge difference. And we were in touch with Councillor Pasternak. He was supposed to come, but again, there's another important meeting taking place at City Hall, so he couldn't be here. But if I understand his mindset, there is a chance he might drop by later on. But we are very excited to have uh, the newly elected um, MP, Mr. Michael Levitt here. And this is, a, this is a kind of great opportunity for us to actually tell him what roles the federal government can play. And so this is your, you know, please don't be shy, have your say, and because federal government has also, you know, announced their budget process. So, uh, the, you know, cities really need the support from federal government. Every dollar that we pay in income taxes, 50 cents go to the federal government, 42 goes to, go to the provincial government, and only 8 cents come to the municipal government. So, you know, it's, it's, it's very important that um, federal government invest in this. So, we will let him talk at some point, and also you can take selfies with him, okay? Don't, you know, take opportunity of that. But there are a few things that I wanted to mention before we start, you know, housekeeping. We are videotaping this event. If you don't want, let us know that I don't want to be videotaped. So, you know, I'm on record, let me know if you don't want to be videographed. When we finish, you will have an opportunity to have your say, a few words, maybe, you know, what is your expectation from city budget or city government or uh, federal government, right? So we'll, we'll add that to the presentation. Uh, what else I need to say? Um, so we also have, we in, uh, we're supposed to have uh, Michael Shapko to talk about city uh, budget and its impl in implication on housing. I, I don't see him here, maybe he's on his way. If he shows up, then he, he will talk about housing. If not, the show must go on, and Miles Stoker from uh, TTC Riders and Ishra Ahmed, we will carry the show, and with your help, of course. So how we plan this session, we'll have a presentation uh, on what's in the budget, and what are the process, and what are the ways you can, in, you can be part of this. And like uh, Victoria said in the beginning, you can actually make a difference because city budget is a process of negotiation. So I'll, I'll give you some inside scoop how you can shape that and it's up to you, you know, what are the things that you want to fight for. So we will share those information. But before we start our presentation, I want to give uh, Michael Lever, you know, local MPP, newly elected MPP. He hasn't even um, printed his business card. <laughs> so just to say a few things, yeah. and, and especially we feel that uh, federal government has not invested in, in communities, especially in municipal government infrastructures, and there was election promises made, and we are actually have you on record to see you what there you are you doing, what you are promising, Absolutely. so over to you to Absolutely. say a few things. Well, first of all, I have to tell you, what a beautiful way to start. Every meeting should start with a, with a song as beautiful as that, because I'll tell you, it just puts everybody in the right frame of mind. So thank you for, thank you for that. 
Um, it's wonderful to be here uh, this evening. I, I understand James may be here later on. Uh, I'm here for the first part of this meeting, not the second, so we may be like ships that pass in the night. But I want to assure you of a couple of things. Um, first of all, in terms of the budget process that's happening uh, municipally, um, I had the pleasure of joining uh, uh, 16 of my fellow members of parliament from the Toronto area at City Hall for a meeting with John Tory on Thursday where we discussed the City of Toronto's priorities um, for in working with the federal government, because you're absolutely right. We have made pledges, uh, especially in the area of infrastructure, to work with cities, and in particular, obviously, from my point of view, with the City of Toronto, in three particular areas. Transit and transportation, uh, uh, social infrastructure, things like affordable housing, and seniors' homes and community centres, and green infrastructure. Those were pledges that happened during the election, $20 billion over 10 years, additional monies in each of those three areas. And in meeting with John Tory um, and Councillor Josh Cole and Anna Bellai the other, the other day, we looked at what the priorities were. We started the conversation. And you know, it, it's funny, in the last 10 years, those conversations between municipal and federal politicians hadn't really been happening the same way. They said it was the largest ever contingent of federal members of parliament to ever be at Toronto City Hall at one time. So I was really proud of that um, because I'm proud of this neighborhood. I'm proud of what I believe we're going to be able to achieve when we work together. So that was a meeting that happened again on a broader level between a group of MPs and uh, uh, Mayor Tory. And just yesterday, I actually met with Councillor Pasternak, coincidentally, at my office to discuss local priorities and a number of different projects uh, that we want to look at. These are the beginnings of these conversations. But what was made clear by Mayor Tory and what was made clear between myself and Councillor Pasternak just yesterday at one o'clock when we met the two of us was that this level of communication, this level of partnership between federal and municipal uh, governments is essential because the city of Toronto cannot do it alone. There's many needs. There's needs around poverty. There's needs around transit. There's needs around affordable housing. There's so many different areas that we need to work together. And it's going to be our job over the next number of months. While, uh, while your organization is doing this for the municipal uh, budget, I'll say that Bill Morneau, my federal minister of finance, started his pre-budget consultations, reaching out to Canadians from coast to coast to coast, those, le those uh, budget consultations just began, I think, uh, early last week. He released the details. He's doing Facebook chats. We're, we're, we're doing all sorts of things to be able to reach out to local communities to hear from them and to reach out to local politicians and to reach out to local groups and BIAs. I'm meeting tomorrow morning with one of the BIAs, uh, the business improvement areas, to hear their input, their input into the federal budget. So it is so important. I am so uh, proud, and, and I have to tell you, during um, the last year and a half that I spent um, in the campaigning, pre-campaign period, working with this community, the Bathurst and Finch community, through the wonderful work that the Hub is doing and the many organizations in here that are hands-on helping um, a community that, you know, at times does need help. Um, there's times when this community is not heard loud enough. But I have to tell you, looking around this room tonight and whenever I've done events in this building, in this room, and I think we, we held a, a, a town hall uh, in, I want to say it was May or June, on affordable housing, and I had myself... I had Adam Vaughn up here, and I had uh, uh, Senator Art Eggleton, who's actually doing the report for John Tory on, on how to address some of the challenges that TCHC finds itself with. We had another packed room for that. The spirit of this community is what's going to make sure your voices are heard. And the wonderful work being done by this organization, um, believe me, it gets noticed. It gets heard. So I, I, I may not be here uh, late enough into this to, to hear the questions, but I'm going to say the following to you, and, and I'm going to make sure that I communicate this uh, and that we share the address with you after the fact. Our office is open. Our constituency office is now open. It opened as of about a week and a half ago. It's at 660 Wilson Avenue, Wilson just west of Dufferin. Okay, um, I can give you, for those of you that have a, a pen, our phone number is 
638-3700. It's been taped as well, so, but uh, we'll make sure we email it too. Um, we want to hear from you. We are doing lots of events. Just one that I'll point out is we are doing a York Center Summit. And believe it or not, it's going to sound like something obvious, but it's something that hasn't taken place in York Center before. And that is that on February 21st, at Antibes, at the Community Center, we're doing the first York Center Summit. And that's going to involve having all three levels of government, myself from the federal, uh, MPP Monty Quinter from the provincial, and uh, councillors Pasternak, Ojimeri, uh, uh, and Peruzzo from the municipal. We are all going to be sitting behind a table like this, listening more than talking, listening to the community, hearing the concerns, but all being in one room, in one place, to be able to address and work together. And that's what's so important. It's a message that John Tory uh, made loud and clear the other day, the commitment of the City of Toronto, uh, and I know I've heard it from Premier Wynne, and of course I've heard it time after time uh, from my Prime Minister, from our Prime Minister, in the communities, hand in hand, listening to the constituents and making sure that we are reflecting your voices back in Ottawa. So I want you to know that you have my pledge. I've only been in this job about three months. As I say, our office is open now, but please reach out, come to our events, come to our town halls that we're gonna be running, like the one we did on affordable housing, like the one we're going to be doing on refugees in March. I wish I had the exact date in my head, but I don't offhand. But reach out to us. Our website's now up and running. Um, and it's, it's honestly, it's, it's, an, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, every time I'm in this room and in this building, it's to a full house. And I just congratulate you for being the type of community that is so engaged because that's what makes things happen, uh, along with the great work being done by uh, the, the organization uh, and the people that are in this room hosting you here tonight. So thank you very much.